give it a spin, see which angle kind of looks like it might be more attractive. I think with dumplings and sumai in particular, you want to see the folds. Hey guys, I'm Patrick Jones for Ladders. Today I'm here with AJ, who runs the popular Instagram account, NYC Food FOMO. So AJ, how does uh, this hobby start? I've always sort of been moved by food, and I felt like taking photos of it brings back the memory and maybe brings back the sensation and the enjoyment that you experience when you're reading it. This uh, is spicy. It's got a little kick to it. I'm gonna be sweating even more than I already am. There you go. How long does it take you to get the photographs that you need? If I have good lighting, you know, I can get done in you know, a few minutes. You know, depending on how many items we have, we can eat while it's still hot, and that's great. Uh, we also have a number of get-togethers. There are know. chances that you don't eat the food when it's hot. Is what there, I'm there are a lot of that. there are a lot of points yeah, in time when we don't eat hot food, but there are a lot of instances where we'll get together, groups of us, you know, a shoot could go on for 30, 30, 45 minutes there. How do you not just like jump in and just start <laughs> shoveling? We you must have a lot of self control. We have a lot of self control. <laughs> so has anyone ever gotten frustrated with you while you're taking a lot of pictures? My brother. Your brother? Uh, he doesn't like to wait. He's not patient. He oh, right. He doesn't have that little power. Someone you know, got all the good genes and someone, someone got, got the, the lesser. Genes. Exactly. Anytime you see noodles, generally on Instagram especially. You see a noodle lift. Can you just speak a little bit to the importance of having a hobby, no matter what it is? For me, what, what's important about having a hobby is having things to look forward to outside of my day-to-day -day grind. You know, I mean, I work, you know, whatever it is, eight to six every day. You could do that and go home, eat, go to sleep every night. I don't want to say that's a sad existence, but I it feel like sad. it sounds a little sad. Yeah. I feel like there's there's a lot to be said for having things to look forward to outside of that. Totally. Having things that excite you. Otherwise, it's just a slow march to the grave. Slow march to the grave. And yeah. I think things to really, to motivate you and to keep you learning. By the way, uh, people come up to you and say you look like Matt Lauer, like all the time, I'm assuming. Happens, yeah, it does happen. Have you ever gone into a place thinking you're gonna take a picture and was sort of disgusted with like <laughs> the food or the cleanliness or yeah. anything like that? I'm there to, to promote things that I enjoy and to share, mm. and, that, and that's what I, that's what this has become. Right. You know, I'm I'm not there to, to criticize anyone. I don't have a culinary background, and I frankly don't Just have a simple man with an, an Instagram account, that's right? Exactly. That's all that I am. Very self-aware. I'm trying.